Hey, what's up, you two king? Jim Jam Flim Flam here. You might recognize me from Sweet 12, the tournament, in Ann Arbor, Michigan last March. First game, you three stalked me. I'll admit it, you beat me. Second game, however, my counterpick, you decided that you wanted to play on Mute City. I acquiesced to this demand and put up a heroic, valiant counter effort, taking two, count them, two of your stocks. It's true, you played with Zelda for part of that match. I'll admit it. However, I do have some Johns of my own. First of all, I was very sleepy that day. I had stayed up for a hundred consecutive hours. Why? Because I was going for a world record without sleep. That's why. Of course, I did end up falling asleep immediately following our match. Secondly, I was very sad. My dad had just called me via telephone to reprimand me. I said, why dad, what's wrong? He said, I don't approve of your lifestyle. Staying up all night, four nights in a row. And I said, how did you even know about that? Uh, f you dad. Third, I was playing with Ness. With all of this in mind, I feel that I have no choice but to publicly challenge you to a cash battle. Given that you stole my counterpick that day in Michigan, we're gonna be playing according to my terms. That's right, Jimmy J, Flimmy Flay terms. So if you are the man that you claim to be, you'll rise to this challenge. First term, in each game for you to win, you gotta three stock me. None of this one stock, a uh, two stock, a bullshit. Just like the number that good things always come in, uh, you're gonna need three. A uh, term number two, I pick all the stages. We play a best of three, I rank. First match, we're going to Big Blue. Second match, you know I'm taking you to Brin's Dex. And a third match, Eagle, land on it. This is not up for debate, my friend. Third term, I, I play with Ness. You, my friend, playing with Cheek, all right? Here's the thing though, for at least one minute of each of the games, you gotta switch it to Zelda, okay? And you know what? I don't wanna see you playing with her for more than two minutes, cause I'm onto your tricks, all right? Uh, thank you very much. Fourth term? And this is a big term. Or should I say, uh, may the fourth term uh, be with you. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm playing player number one. You know I'm getting that player one priority. You're all the way over a player four. Deal with it. Fifth turn. You come to Starkville, Mississippi. If you agree to this, we will begin a Kickstarter to pay for your plane ticket, all right? You can't beat that. And if that fails, we will agree to meet at a decently sized tournament within driving proximity of me. We'll even provide your housing. Heck, I will even personally buy you a single serving of your favorite food. Additionally, if you win, I'll give you $50 from my own personal bank account, which is operated by Chase. Huh, $50. How does that sound? Uh, kind of like this? A $50 fun fest, eh? Yeah. Oh, and guess what? If I win, you owe me nothing. Huh, that's weird, ain't it? All I ask for is a handshake, a shake weight, and a milkshake. That's all, my friend. Nah, I'm just kidding with you about the last two. So, what do you say? I can't think of a single reason why you would decline this challenge. That is, if you truly are the king of Mewtwo's. So, I got your money right here. I'll go ahead and write your name on it, right here on old Ronnie Reagan's face. <laughs> here you go. The choice is yours. I'm serious, Mewtwo King. <clears throat> Say, by the way, what the hell is uh, this thing? Who brought this? What is it, raining outside? Is this an umbrella? You idiots. Get the f out of here, cameraman. <laughs>